part one of Pokemon Go's annual holiday event brings the debut of the Citadel line. How good are these Ice-type Orcas, though? Will join us as we bundle up and break down these icy Paldean Pokemon. Welcome back, everyone. Citadel and Cititan debut in Pokemon Go real soon, but how good are these two? Well, stat-wise, Cititan has a moderate attack stat, a low defense, and a huge stamina stat. The large HP definitely helps it for PvP, but the higher attack stat and low defense do drag it down a bit. Overall, it has slightly above average stats for PvP, but move and type-wise, things are a bit shakier. Cititan does have great charged moves in Body Slam and Avalanche, but it's let down a bit by Ice Shard, a perfectly serviceable fast move, but not as good as the faster charging Powder Snow. And Cititan's situation only gets worse because of its relatively uninteresting typing, being pure ice. If it were ice water or had some other unique subtyping, it could have been able to carve out a nice niche, but instead, it's just rather plain. Cititan isn't all bad, having a respectable win rate in both the Great and Ultra Leagues, but I would say that Pokemon like Frostlass, Dugong, and Walrein do similar but ultimately better things. It's similar to Avalug, which is also pretty defensive, but doesn't see a ton of success. It's got a better fast move than it, but worse bulk. And it's not very impressive in raids either, with Pokemon like Mamoswine performing a lot better, who you can also get during the holiday event. Still, it's an alright budget option if you don't have many good ice types. But ultimately, Cititan just ends up looking mediocre and uninteresting in Go. It's far from bad, but it's not really good enough to where I'd recommend trying it out. Still, if you really like it, you can always try to make it work. But down in the comments below, let me know what you think about the Citadel line. I do really enjoy the designs of these two, and I even used Cititan on my team in Scarlet and Violet, so it is a little disappointing that they aren't as good in Go. If you like this video though, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming analyses. We've got videos in the pipeline such as our Weird Deer analysis, and also analyses for the Hisuian starters that are coming up next month and in February, so stay tuned for those. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.